वेलकम माई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अमर शर्मा हेयर एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग लारावे लाइव वायर विथ लॉग इन सिस्टम हेयर एंड हेयर वी आर यूजिंग लारावेल एंड एस क्यू लाइट डाटा बेस सो एज दिस इज अ पार्ट सेकेंड ऑफ दिस होल सीरीज एंड इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लर्न दैट वट इज लारावेल एंड वट इज लाइव वायर वी जस्ट सा द ओवर व्यू ऑफ दैट that why we are using live wire uh, in the with the help of laravel and we installed the laravel project and created one component that is i am login component of live wire so today in this part in this part second we are going to create we are going to set up the bootstrap and then we are going to set up our database that yes we are going to set up sqlite database and then we are going to set up bootstrap so now first of all we will set up the bootstrap now without wasting any time let's get into it now let's go to the laravel documentation here that is laravel.com docs and into the front end here and so here see that what is here first of all we need a php ui bootstrap here so first of all we have to add the bootstrap now let's write this command here so i'm going to copy it and just go here in the terminal and let's paste this command that is php require ui php artisan ui bootstrap so we need a bootstrap ui here so let's see so first of all we have to install the laravel ui so first of all let's install the laravel ui then we can work with this so let's install the laravel ui so i am going to install the laravel ui this error is coming because our laravel ui is not installed here yet so i am installing laravel ui it is extracting everything downloading and installing and it will take little time then we will run this command that is php artisan ui uh, bootstrap to generate the scaffolding and then we will write npm install to install the packages that i told previously here see that in the package or json first of all uh, we need uh, we need to install these packages here because non modules are not here yet and see that here axios we want laravel mix there this is their post css so laravel mix we want because uh, we want to compile our bootstrap scaffolding here so that's why we have to uh, use this here laravel mix and when we will run npm run dev then our laravel mix will compile our whole code or scaffolding and it will generate bootstrap css for us that will be the compiled css so i will be right back after completing this now see that thus this is a, a laravel ui is installed successfully now we can create the scaffolding by using same thing that is php artisan ui bootstrap so it will create scaffolding for us and see that bootstrap scaffolding is installed successfully and now see that we have many dependencies new dependencies here so first is bootstrap and then jquery is there popper.js is there then uh, sass sass is there and sass loader is there now here it is giving the instruction there so we have to compile our scaffolding so that's why we have to run this so uh, you can use this command also and you can run this uh, these two commands are there if and and is not working at your end then you can install uh, you can do these commands you can run these commands one by one first do npm install and then do npm run dev i'm going to do uh, it same like this that is npm install and npm run dev so it will install uh, it will run these to both things for us now let's wait it 
to be done first of all it will install all these dependencies and then it will run npm run dev to compile our scaffolding that then we can use bootstrap here our dependencies are installed successfully and it is compiled successfully here see that first of all i wrote here npm install first of all it run npm install here and see that here uh, and installing the dependencies was finished and then it is giving me message that please run mix again because it is giving some errors for that so after these errors i ins i run again i have run the game npm run then i ran again this command npm run dev then it is mixing everything and it is compiling everything here see that compiled successfully and we are getting js and css files here see that in the public previously no files no css and js files was were there and see that now app.css file is also there and i'm going to close it first and see that this whole is our bootstrap only and then our js is also there so here js is there and it is also compiled yeah so these things we have see that like this and now i'm going to close it and now let's see here if we have any having any change here or not in our application let's see see that we are not having any change till now because we have to install the first uh, this we have to add in the welcome.blade.php because this welcome.blade.php is our main file our main file other is our uh, component here now here we have to add the styles also first of all i am going to link the css that is app.css here and we will link and its hr here will be assets here so when we will write asset we have to use this function asset and then this asset will to the public uh, public file here so see that to the public file this will direct to the public file then in the public file we have to move to css and then app.css here same thing we have to do for the js here i'm going to write script and here i will be textless javascript and here we want source src and its src will be js here will be app.js and here we have to close the script also i'm going to close it and now save it successfully and let's see what we are getting now saved it successfully and we will refresh this let's wait for a while now see that our text and color everything is changed now now this means that our bootstrap is applied successfully now one thing is pending that is adding database sqlite we are going to use let's see how we can do that now we have to add the database here first of all i am going to close this and close this all and let's first of all go to dot env file and here for the database we don't need username and also we don't need password here and here i am going to write simply as sqlite because we are going to use sqlite only and host and everything this will be same like this and here we will mention the database path what will be the database path so in the database i am going to create here one new thing and that will be database dot sql like and this thing we are going to create that will be uh, this is sql file here now till now this is empty here and how you can see that 
uh, where is uh, uh, how can you can see this database of SQLite here and there is one here uh, DB browser and with you can go to SQLite browser dot org and simply click on download and here you can download for uh, 32 bit or 64 bit and you can download browse portable ad or mac os you can download for mac os linux and everything for that and this will help you uh, to uh, see the sqlite here that is sqlite database here so when you will download this and open this this will be open like this and here no database is open yet so let's open the database and this database I'm going to my directory here and here to the this one this one and in the project there is database and under the database there is database.sqlite and now till now see that whenever we go to browse data there is nothing and it is empty here no tables are here see that no tables are here this is empty now let's see we will do the migrations also here and here we have to mention the path first path first so i'm going to mention app uh, sorry here we have to mention database database slash then database dot sqlite because this is under the database folder so i'm going to save it successfully and let's see if we are getting any errors or not and it will see that it will compile here and it will restarting the server server is restarted now reload it i hope we will not get any errors here now this is compiled successfully and this means that our boost our sqlite browser is applied successfully here so let's see first of all let's do the migrations here see that here are some migrations file that are default migrations file uh, i'm going to here database migrations first is user table password and field jobs and these thing these migrations are default migrations and here i'm going to write just php artisan migrate and it will write this see that we, our tables are migrating successfully and this means that our database is applied successfully also so now when i will try to open sqlite here see that it is not opening because it is in the binary format and now this means that our data is filled here and i'm going to refresh this So I'm going to refresh this. Let's open the database again. I'm going to let's go here in the folder first. Database and this database.sqlite. I'm going to open it and copy it here. See that now we are getting the data here. First is fail jobs, migrations, and password reset, SQL sequence, and users. These tables we are getting. And we can see the data of all these tables with the help of this SQLite browser here. Now we have set up our database and we added the bootstrap successfully. And we also did the migrations here. Now only one uh, on, now from the next video we will start creating the route here first we will create the login login and register route and then we will create the navigation bar so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in one section i will definitely respond to that and last thanks for watching i will see you in the next video